Yeah. All right. Well, a couple things just on my mind that may be relevant to this meeting. Um, so the yeah, Sebastian Wagner set up a, going to set up a meeting on the CI so we can meet with between the Sousa guys and Adam on our side on Red Hat to talk about what's next with the Rook CI. Um, I yeah, I thought it was going to be this week, but I haven't seen anything on the calendar yet. I guess we'll go back on that. And we have everybody, uh, everybody here. Um, I'll ping Sebastian on that. Do you know if the CI has been updated? Oh, actually, yes. Yesterday it was updated. That's um, Adam. Okay. He upgraded the caught. version. Yeah, he upgraded the version of Jenkins. He still needs to update the plugins. Okay. So okay. he didn't do that yet, but. Um, like there's at least one issue he noticed was fixed, which was before the upgrade. Like there was one or 200 percent CPU being used by something, and it would never go away. And now that went away. So Jenkins should at least be more responsive now, a little oh. quicker in the UI. And he was cleaning up some disk space. The disk was getting full from archived builds. We don't need to save all our builds forever. They're all published to Docker Hub anyway. Anyway, other general cleanup. Fingers crossed that we'll see more reliable builds just with this first upgrade. We'll see. With builds going today, have you noticed any issues or good so far? Seb? No, no. Uh, I think Cassandra is really making, uh, like somehow it's, it, it makes every job failing, I got the impression. Uh, because people tend to forget about the test bin. And I try to resurrect my little little patch uh, to do detection and apply the good backend. But then I noticed, just like you said, uh, Jenkins was upgraded, but not the plugins. So it hasn't changed anything for me. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. So okay. hopefully this week we'll have something. So external cluster, so we've almost got your PR done for yeah. relaxing that. So since I was out, it was delayed. Now that I'm back, yeah. we'll get it in. Anything else on, on that topic? No, no, get just it. waiting for a, like a final review, I guess. Yeah, and and we'll backport that one, right? Yes. That's good. Because uh, well, OCS needs it. Yeah. Even if they said that RGS is going away as a requirement, so that's going to be OCS, OCS now. Yeah. Uh, it's still a good thing for, yeah, the external cluster. Yeah, it is, but it's it's like, I don't know, it's, I really think it's defeating the point uh, of having external clusters because we're not going to have, but I mean, I, well, anyways, I guess. Anyways. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's work, I guess. <laughs> yeah. For QE, at least. <laughs> it doesn't change much for us. Right. Um, okay. And then you had a topic for async config of Ceph Manager modules. Yeah, that is your that? PR. And I've looked into this a little bit more today. Oh, yeah, so yeah. I made a, made a quick suggestion. Uh, as I was reading uh, panels today, uh, looking in a little bit more detail, uh, and well, it appears that because I saw you were using uh, Mutex, and I was wondering why we, we were not using channels instead. Mm -hmm. And I guess it's really up to you. <laughs> but uh, it, it looks like uh, Mutex are generally more, uh, like they are faster uh, mm -hmm. and than channels. I'm not sure what's your take on this. Yeah, the so your question on the PR is just why not use channels instead of the. No, 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 my, no, no. I, I, it's more like an outside just question. question. I'm fine. I'm oh, fine okay. using Mutex uh, for this actually. Uh, Right. So it's just a general question. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. 
I just suggested yeah. in, in your PR. Oh, okay, go ahead with the response. Sorry. No, yeah, I, just, I think, well, there's some scenarios where channels are definitely, I mean, needed to be used because uh, any sort of communication between the, the go routines, yeah. I mean, the channels is the way to do that, right? Yeah. In this, in this case, Honestly, channels also take a little more mental power to process. <laughs> and oh, oh, yeah, yeah. More, more prone to, I don't know, it's just more developer. Yeah, yeah you're right, you're right. Even on the mindset. syntax so, side. Right. Yeah. So the mutex is simpler for this scenario, and it, just, yeah. it keeps it simpler, the code simpler, in my mind at least. Oh, yeah, yeah. no, no, definitely, definitely. I, I fully agree on this. Uh, it's probably easier to write mutex than, than channels at this point. Uh, and we don't do buffered channels, so that we, so that that's okay. That's okay. So the only thing I suggested is to use a, a sync group, uh, so that it's the same thing I was suggesting, I guess, where we we get concurrency from uh, activating all the modules plus their configuration. But then uh, each time we do this, we had we 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 add a value to a sync group, and then we wait for all the sync group to, to settle so that we we don't switch to the OSD code uh, before all of them uh, are done. So we still get the, the speed from the, the concurrency, but then we don't go over the OSD bootstrap code. I see. So we could, yeah, limit how much we're going beyond or doing in parallel. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. <clears throat> All right. I, I don't mind having a PR. look if you if you if you want to do something else. Uh, but if I mean, you, I think you have like ninety nine percent of that already. So if, uh, using the the sync group is not much. So. Yeah, that it's simple. So okay. I'll look at that. Cool. Yep. All right. And let's see what else. Well, I mean, I know you have a PR in progress right now. Which one is it? Um, still catching up on things. Yes. About the information from third volume inside the uh, config maps, the device config map. Right. right. Oh, cool. So you okay. have a PR open for that now? Yes, yes. And Sebastian has started to to review it. Okay, I have uh, uh, well addressed the the suggestions, the Sebastian suggestions, and in this moment, uh, well, I, I have seen. I, I don't know if it is normal or not. There is a problem with the the building the code. Okay, and I don't have uh, information about what is happening. It seems that the uh, the link with the with the blue ocean uh, job is 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 broken or something like that. I don't know if it is normal or not. See, when did you run? That's just from today. Let's see. Yeah, it's just kind of hung. Huh? If if no. you try to to see why why the commit uh, cannot be built, uh, the link is uh, providing an error. Oh, okay. I've seen that too. And actually, I, I think there is something wrong with the CI at this point because, okay, what you're saying is really interesting. I, I thought that, sorry to interrupt Travis, but uh, I was looking at some builds this morning and I've noticed like uh, 404 errors on, on pages. So I thought, okay, Jenkins just got upgraded. So we just, we lost the state of whatever was running on the CI and we just need to re-trigger it again. But mm -hmm. then I realized that when I was logged in uh, the CI, then I could see uh, the pipeline. So the, something has okay, changed okay. for sure. Maybe like maybe it's a permission thing where not everybody has permission to see what's happening. But since yeah. I can log, I can see uh, what's what's there. But it's really confusing because very few people have access to that. So. They won't be able to see what's wrong with their build. Okay. If they yes, yeah. Click on the link. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. So, Thanks for right. reporting so this one. So you're saying okay. if you click on the PR and you click on the link for the yeah. failed yeah. build, you don't. It doesn't work, or 
Yes, you have a 404 error. Okay. And uh, it, it, it seems that, uh, well, it, it's probable that uh, it will be uh, some kind of problem with the, with the permissions, with the rights uh, to see the, the, the pipeline. Oh, yeah. As Sebastian has commented. Out. If I log out, I see the 404. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah. Okay, and uh, well, I think that uh, well, just to to inform that next uh, week on on Friday, okay, I will be in Buenos Aires uh, in the fifth day, okay, and I well, I have submitted a, a talk about the uh, uh, about uh, well, uh, how to to make modifications in in Rook. It's a entry level talk, okay, about uh, uh, well. Uh, start to contribute in in the project, okay? And I will uh, well, uh, this will be my first talk about uh, uh, things around Rook, okay? And uh, well, I, I haven't prepared nothing in this moment, okay? But uh, I think that uh, in a couple of days I, I will have something, and I will send you a a, a copy of the of the well, of the su summary. Uh, because uh, it would be nice to to have bit feedback from you, okay? You have more experience in this kind of things. And this yeah. is all for my part. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you'll have it in Spanish too, right? The whole conference. Yes. Except is. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> it was required to to do the talk in in Spanish. <laughs> yeah. It was Perfect. a strong requirement. <laughs> uh huh. So who's going to be there? Uh, I think that uh, is his uh, is going to be uh, there. Uh, Alfredo Deza and yeah, Ernesto course. Ernesto Puerta. All the Spanish speakers. Okay. Yes. <laughs> makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Maybe next time there's a a Spanish event. All. It's just my second language, not first. <laughs> okay, you, you you will be you will be very welcome there over there, and you, Sebastian, you, Sebastian. So yeah, no, my this... Spanish is quite quite bad to be honest. <laughs> so, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I really know nothing about Spanish, uh, like really nothing. <laughs> okay, but uh, uh, for sure better than my English. <laughs> so. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, sounds great. We'll look forward to reviewing that presentation then. Okay. I think that's all we got on the agenda, at least. Other yeah. things to talk about? Not really uh, orchestration related, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I glanced at all my emails since I was out the last couple of days, but if there's anything more urgent to catch up on, let me know. No, really, I mean, it has been uh, somehow, and I think you're going to be surprised, but it has been pretty quiet uh, since you left. That's what it seemed like, yeah. No, That's no, really, was, really. Uh, yeah. Even my inbox is like, like, literally, I get like hundreds of emails, like at, at least 100 new emails every day, and then like, I got like 30 new emails for like five days in a row, so. Uh -oh. Something's definitely happening. I don't know why, but uh, it's really quiet, which is yeah. which is good, I think. That's good news. Yeah. It means things are working if nobody's complaining very much. Yep. yep. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Just one more thing. I I did a quite a thorough review on the Create Client CRD. Uh, some, oh, yeah. some most of most of the comments I think have been addressed. So if you want to take a look at this one too, okay. that's the one where we create Ceph CephX accounts. And... Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't see much value to be honest, but well, I mean, if somebody finds it useful and they contribute the feature, we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, it, we but... can't. Right. So yeah, I'll take another look. It... I think my last comment on there was just questioning if we really need that feature or if we can 
add other features instead that address specific scenarios. Yeah. Look again. Okay. All right. Uh, I've missed it. Yeah, yeah. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Okay. Bye. Yeah.